uh, one other thing I really wanted to touch on uh, was feelings. Express your feelings, you know, when you're hurting, uh, when you're feeling lonely. So important, so very important to not, to not sit on those. And uh, don't try and kill your feelings. And I'll share a little tiny bit. Um, I come from a, a background of being an addict. I have 25 years clean, uh, but when I was a teenager, I did not think I would grow up to be an addict. And I see so many young people now that, that come seeking recovery from addiction. So many young people, you know, and uh, I just want to encourage you that none of us choose to be an addict. There's an analogy when you're making pickles out of cucumbers, uh, you take a cucumber and you put it in pickle juice. And at some point that cucumber becomes a pickle and there's no going back to being a cucumber. And it's the same with us that struggle with addictions. And don't forget it. Don't pick up. Don't open that door. You run from it and you run for godly counsel and wisdom and share what you're struggling with. God loves you, and so do I. And if there's one piece of advice you could give a teenager, if you were, yeah, just you had the opportunity to give every teenager one tip. One tip. Before you make any decision, just ask God. You don't have to listen. You might be at a point in your life where you think, nah, I'm done with rah, rah, rah. I promise you, you go to him with your request. You just say to him, Lord, what do you think I should do? Listen. Listen to that and go with it. I promise you it will not fail. Hi, my name is Jody Christensen. Uh, Jody, if you could give your teenage self one piece of advice, what would it be? If I had to give myself as a teenager one piece of advice, I would definitely listen to my parents. I would listen to my parents' that advice a little bit more than I did. I would have followed my, par my parents' Christian advice I would count on the Lord a lot more. I would ask the Lord which uh, direction I would go versus the directions that I went. And um, I think that would be my advice is to listen to my family, find someone you really look up to and um, get some security and uh, do a lot of praying. If uh, you could give your teenage self one piece of advice, mm. what would that be? And I thought about this one for a while. Uh, I opened a lot of doors in my teen years. Uh, drug doors and smoking uh, and lust, selfishness, what Cavell wanted. I truly would encourage you my word to you would be to not open those doors. Do not open those doors, not even a little bit. When you're a teenager, there's many things that vie for your focus and your attention. Mm -hmm. And knowing what you know now, would you would you focus on the same things? Uh, I definitely would not. <laughs> um, to encapsulate my life, uh, just a little tiny bit. I, I lived a long life of uh, drug addiction and uh, walking a lot of hard roads. Would my focus be different? It definitely would. Uh, yeah, it would. I, I walked the road of destruction for many years.
Well, Craig, if you know, if you knew as a teenager what you know now, what would you do differently, if anything? Well, I know I've been asked this question before, and I have said, you know, despite everything I've been through, I wouldn't want to trade anything because I love all the valuable things that I've gained as a result. However, in the last couple of years, and in my journey with Christ um, being a new one and a very different one, I would have to say, I wish with all my heart, I had paid more attention to the scriptures. Um, because if I had rooted all my choices in what God was telling me to do, I would have a very different life now. I believe that um, I would have seen all the different promises that God's made throughout the Bible would have come to pass at a much um, earlier time than I kind of had to get through it the harder way. So therefore, um, I'm now approaching 60 and there are so many things that I could have done that I've now missed the opportunity to because I didn't um, stay fully in the word all the time. Mm -hmm.